From my experience uh, in terms of judging the VR awards, I think I've realized there's different types of pioneers in the VR space. A virtual reality pioneer looks like someone that is brave enough to uh, try things that have never been done before. It's anybody. It's anybody that's in this space, anybody that's involved in these awards, anybody that is you know, maybe a doctor or somebody that's on, on the street that grabs hold of this technology and uses it to transform the way that they work. You don't really know necessarily what you're doing every day, but you're building skills, you're learning as you go. And every job we do, every project we work on, you're learning something new that you take on to the next one. Pioneer is someone who's going to go beyond thinking in terms of the technology into thinking about what it means to be the maker, what it means to identify your audience and how you can actually bring that audience into a world that they've never experienced before. What we're doing right now in VR and all the other immersive technologies really is so important because it drives what happens next. We don't find out what we need to do next without going through what we're doing right now. And those will kind of be the seeds, I guess, to, to kind of grow this whole space into something that becomes more of a, uh, like a second nature type of experience. The great thing about this space is there is such a variety of people working in it at the moment. We have uh, pioneers who've been working in this area, researching for about 20 years. We have experienced games designers moving into it from a, a different area. And we have people who are completely new to it. It's absolutely key to empower developers, to give them the right tools to create the best possible content and also the right tools to be able to monetize um, and, and build successful businesses. The here and now is the most important part of this industry. It's the defining part of the industry. Where we go with VR is being defined now. We are all pushing the boundaries of a technology that could be transformative for the society that we're living in. We have the opportunity here to see where the future of VR is heading see what we can do to support the future of VR, and more importantly, see how we can celebrate those future innovations.